Haydn, Schubert, Verdi. Why do we find these three composers here at this particular location in this particular city? My name is Richard Giuliani. Uh, I've been a student of Italian life for nearly a half a century. The Italians and the Germans uh, in Philadelphia represent huge components of the foreign-born presence. Throughout the 19th century, Germans had singing societies here. The two busts of Austrian composers, Schubert and Haydn, were won by German singing clubs from Philadelphia. My name is Hardy von Allmüller. I'm the chairman of the German Society of Pennsylvania. The Franz Schubert bust was installed in 1891. It was a very close race between Philadelphia and Baltimore. They ended up with an equal number of points, and so the decision was made by the toss of a coin. I think more than anything, uh, Schubert was known as a writer of songs. My name is David Kim, and I'm the concertmaster, which is the first chair violinist of the Philadelphia Orchestra. Franz Schubert wrote some 600 romantic songs, in addition to a great number of symphonies, sonatas, operas. Of the hundreds of songs that Schubert wrote, some of the finest settings were inspired by the writings of Goethe and Schiller. And how wonderful is it that the statues of Goethe and Schiller are very close to where we are right now to these busts. And then in 1906, the Philadelphia Singing Society won the bust of Haydn. Franz Joseph Haydn, considered the father of symphonic music, was a uh, deeply religious man, uh, a devout Catholic, and yet he was known as a prankster. The best example of this kind of jocularity comes from his surprise symphony. And then Giuseppe Verdi resides here as well. Choice of, of Verdi was really initiated by the Italian community of Philadelphia itself. The Italians, are, rightly so, were so proud of Verdi. And I think this is all part of a process of legitimizing their presence. The Italians are still in a rather marginal and fragile location as a residents of Philadelphia. And what better way to legitimize it than to link the presence of these uh, modest immigrant lives to a great contributor to the musical culture of the world as a whole that Verdi represents. Giuseppe Verdi was one of the great, great composers of Italian opera. No opera company can go a season without at least a few Rigolettos or Il Travatore or La Traviatas. I think it's, it's been a very uh, common tendency for any immigrant or ethnic group to try to link itself to its most prominent figures, that we're not so bad after all, and maybe, in fact, much more than that, we're pretty good, and uh, we can live together side by side in peace. Mm -hmm.